we are now going to create a work order for an open notification. This would likely be done by the maintenance supervisor or a maintenance planner. So the first thing you got to do is to look at your no list of notifications. So you click on IW28. Afterwards, you will look for the notification. In this case, we're going to be looking for all notifications against the roll oven. We'll click here to look for our piece of equipment. We put a description because we do not know the equipment number. We just know what it's called. And we press execute. From here, we see our list of ovens in our plant. And we select the roll oven. We double click on it. Once that's the case, we will see our equipment number right here in the selection criteria. We will now click Execute. At this point, we will see a list of our open notifications. We will see them by date. We will see them by status. We will see them by the description of what has happened, the notification number, any orders that are against it, the equipment that is for, and the function location where this equipment resides, and who is doing the work. In this case, we only have one notification as a work order. That is this one right here, the Model K. All these notifications here are open. So now being a maintenance supervisor or planner, I have to make a decision on whether or not I'm going to create a work order for one of these notifications. So I would use maybe the dates or I would use the priority of what the issue is at hand. In this case, we will say that the roll oven being jammed, the pan jam is very important and we need to take care of this right away. So what you'll do, you will highlight the notification you wish to create a work order for. You will then click on the order button right here, which says generate order. It has a blank white page. You click on it, and then this screen will appear. Now, you have a few options here of what type of order you're gonna create. You could create a corrective order or a general order. In this case, I'll correct a corrective maintenance order. So I double click here. Afterwards, I got to give this a priority. I'll give this a medium, a high priority. I will then press enter or this green button here. From here, I will see the notes against this work order. It says the loader bar needs repaired. I will then afterwards select what type of repair, what type of work order this is. So we'll see it is a repairs work order. I could also pick food safety, environment, auto work, safety, and whatever else is in this list. I will pick repairs. From here, I have the option of leaving these notes alone or could, I could add on to the notes. In this case, I will add on to the notes by saying, Ernie will be working on this and should be completed by the end of today. Afterwards, I will put some planned hours. Right here at the bottom, it basically refers to how long I believe it might take. This is optional, but it's good practice to put the estimated planned hours. So I'm going to state that one worker, which is number of workers, will take about two hours to complete this. After this, I will release the work order, which is a green flag right here, the green flag. And I will then save the work order, this button right here. I have now created a work order, and the work order number will immediately appear on my list right here, as you can see. I could click on this work order after I've created it by clicking on the number and I could add on to what I already created. I could change Ernie as being the worker assigned. 
I could change the dates. I could make this due for the 18th instead of the 17th. Or I could add on dates. I could add on notes saying and I will save this. This This concludes the creation of a work order from a notification.